Hello guys, welcome back to SND Precision. I just want to share with you guys the, the trade that I took this morning so that you guys also can be able to learn and uh, capitalize on what I've been doing this morning and uh, what I saw was the opportunity and why I was able to catch all this entry. So my first entry in the morning that I took was uh, on this level. For people that they on the, the public group, they know I took the trade from this area. If we go to M1, then you're gonna see what happened there. So I saw market drop here, then push again back to the upside. So when it was coming down, this is where I took my entry from that week. That was my first entry in the morning. Then it went and gave me almost uh, uh, 40, because I wrote it down. Okay, it gave me 41 pips. So from here to here, it was a bit of 41 pips that I, I got. Then naked drop again. Let me go to M5 again back. So you can see another reason of my entry, why I took the entry again there. So what I saw here, I saw uh, the first type of decision point that I normally use. If you can check this candlestick, you see this candlestick and uh, the other one, but check the weeks. This weeks engulf the other weeks down. So this is where I took my entry, but I took my entry a bit uh, up because I knew market is gonna come to this red line. And all my target was a bit to go up. Then something come up in the mind, I'll tell you guys, here again i took another entry because it was uh, i think it was on m3 yeah this one here because when i saw market could not hold from this area this candlestick trade down the next one open i place my trade already there then we go with it to the upside then from here i scalp another cell why i scalp this cell the reason of scalping this cell was this area here you see this was the reason I saw this uh, Iden base, the one that is here, the Mera Mera, the double Marabuza, that was uh, that is here. So <laughs> I took the entry, also a scalping entry again from there, to come to the downside with it. So from here, I just come down here. Then I was waiting for market to get back up. Okay, one of the reason of this entry uh, was if you go to M5. I saw there was a base there. Uh, if you can check, market creates a drop base, then drop, then break this structure here. Then from here, if you if you know properly what is going to happen on M5, what you're gonna say, this was just a fake movement. You see this movement, just to run this liquidity, then drop. But if you go to M15, then what you're gonna see you're gonna see on this area there is a QML. So I'm gonna show you guys because I'm just gonna delete everything, then I'll make a proper analysis. Then how you could be able to catch all this movement, then this is what I'll show you guys. Then uh, my chart is here. This is all the entry I've been taking in the morning. And this one was the one that I was expecting my kid to come back here so that we can sell to go to the downside. I send this uh, in the group for people to capture and uh, Take this movement i don't know whoever took it but i only see myself i took the entry from here then check how market drop so crazy guys how many peeps already we are we are holding from here we can take from here up until down 130 peeps you see 130 peeps from here to this area then this side when new york open when New York open, if you wanted to take another entry, let's say a continuation entry, if you miss the one on top, for people that they are trading the, the killer zone stuff, you could get an entry. You see, like from here, market return back to this area, you could catch the entry on this zone here. You see, because what uh, we expected here, there was a sort of QML, then uh, wanted to come and sell, then QML didn't hold, then market return back. You see, here could be your perfect entry for you to catch the movement going to the downside. 
by the way let me delete all this stuff now let me show you the analysis how you could get the entries from here from all this movement the way it was going to the upside so if you check let me just go back first to m5 so if you check the first reason of uh, all this cell what you're gonna see is that we have this area this is a decision point the one that is there we have a rally market create the base then market rally we break this area then market return to the downside when markets return to downside this was my face entry that i took sorry guys this was my face entry that i took then market pushed to the upside now check here on the swipe zone you see let me show you on the swipe zone but this one i could not sell could not sell i was only looking for buy position i said okay let me not sell this is a swipe zone market drop again check again here we have rally bears rally market return to this zone this is the decision point i told you guys you could catch again this movement if you know how you could use this stuff you know how you could get the entry this area you could get another entry from here just you target the higher point then market push again more to the upside then we come back so from here this is where i saw the m1 iden base if you remember guys i told you about the m1 iden base the one that was here this one you see this iden base the m1 iden base the one that was here let me just put this box so here we have the m1 iden base then market did what market drop so if we go to m5 what you're gonna see again from here is this on m5 uh, this is a continuation trend check what happened here we have this strong resistance market break it return this was also another entry that i took the reason also of the entry why i took that entry you see things are just so simple when you take it like simple you see how they are working then i took another entry here just to go to the upside because of this area so on this area i had two confirmation the first one was this base i saw on m5 you see here market create a sort of liquidity then market test my zone drop up until this area if you remember guys i took a cell to come to this area then market return again back to my zone then from my zone market drop so huge but the reason of this one why you could hold this trade because there was a qml let me show you there was a qml a qml is here if you check but if you go to m15 if you go let's say to m5 you won't know that there is a qml so the qml is here if you can check properly we have uh, this higher point then market create a low market push again to the upside to create a higher high because this one is higher than the previous one so from there markets when market drop to the downside market create a lower low this lower low was at my decision point the one that i took my first trade then market goes to the upside another confirmation that i i got that this market is gonna sell there was a loss a loss of momentum when market was going to the upside there was no momentum to show that this market is gonna uh, continue buying let me show you guys if you check from this one you see coming up until where it sell it only takes uh, takes us one hour with uh, 12 bars to go to the downside but let's see what happened when market was going to the upside from here going until the level that market sold it took us three hours with 41 bars for them to to go to the upside already it is a sign that market is gonna do it market is going to sell there is no momentum going to the upside then another thing that you need to pay attention to here is that if you check start from here up until to the upside you see this is a compression market was compressing market was compressing go return then here we use uh, this movement to go to the upside 
if we check here we had a nice confirmation just to continue we return again back we test the zone then we come back to the upside at the end of the day we come and do it and break the area then we retest again market break this low if you are using the break market structure then what you're gonna say is that here there was a break of structure that happened here if we go to m3 then you're gonna see properly there was a break of structure market return to the upside inside this decision point the one we have here just for them to do it to sell again so if you check here this is the area we have the hidden base again on this zone here then market return back respect this area for them to sell this huge you see so you need to understand how is the market working what is the confluence you have that is going to allow you to take the trades so simple and the straight guys i hope you're gonna go and back this and um next time i hope next time you're gonna catch the same movement also because you need to back test you need to have one thing that you follow it you understand it how is working how do you take the trade you know guys i've been trading so many stories but uh for the past days i just i was going through back testing understanding how is gold working then i decide you know what i'm just gonna focus more on gold if i want to look at the stuff maybe i'll look at usa 30 and uh gbp usd so if you can check my list this is my list so i have only gold usa 30 and gbp usd so like for today i was only trading gold because i see a nice movement in gold i see a nice opportunity that gold is gonna sell gold is gonna buy so let me catch this opportunity i didn't even look at the other stuff so i was only looking at the uh, gold and i'm happy gold give me what i wanted because if you catch this movement was 41 pips this one went up until uh, 50 something i'm sure yeah i think it went up until 57 if i'm not mistaken yeah 57 pips already that is like a hundred and something then from here i catch again that was like 21 then from 21 i catch again this one was uh, 34 pips you see so this is how you need to catch and the last movement that is the one that went 130 pips already in a short period i, I was able to make at least like 300 pips you see so it doesn't matter like you can hold the thread for so long for you to be able to catch all the movement but you need just to work smart and understand what you are doing then you'll be able to do whatever you feel like as you can check my picture you haven't seen my picture look dirty because you know because of all these entries 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 you see so what's up guys i hope this video is gonna be very useful to you then uh, keep on doing the good work everything will fall in place sharp guys enjoy